Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're joining me and Kiki on the sofa today to have a chat about this New Balance More version four. It's in for the full review. Sit back, relax, let's get this video done. So it's great that you're joining us here for another review. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because we're gonna be having a chat about the two other big max cushion shoes in this area. Perfect for those easy recovery runs. The Nike Invincible version two and also the Hoka Bondi as well. We're gonna start out as usual chatting about all the facts and figures, my likes, my dislikes, who's it best suited for, and then the most important thing at the end of that conclusion, and is it going into my rotation? So let's start out now by chatting about the facts and figures. So this shoe set me back 140 pounds. As always, I bought the shoe 100% with my own money to give you that completely impartial review. Stack height, 34 mil at the back, two millimeters more than version three, 30 mil at the front, giving a four mil overall drop. The weight for me coming in at 353 grams in my UK size 12. Yes, that's quite heavy. Um, and up there with its competitors as well. It's a big, bulky type shoe. It's a neutral shoe and very much for your long runs, your easy runs, your recovery runs, something you're not really doing any speed work or racing in a shoe like this. Lovely mesh upper here, Fresh Foam X, and New Balance say this is the most amount of Fresh Foam they've ever put in a shoe. And it's kind of their second tier foam, but one they put in all of their like everyday running shoes. There's no carbon plate in this shoe or no plate of any description and you can get it in wide and extra wide as well. I think the vast majority of people, the standard shoe will be fine. It's five mil wider than the outgoing model and I had so much room in the toe box at the front of this shoe. But those extra wide options are there on the New Balance website if you want to have a look. It was true to size for me in my UK size 12 and it has some nice reflective detailing. Really good as we're running a lot here in the dark now. The winter is here in the UK. Quickly guys, if you are finding this video useful, please smash that like button and maybe check out our Black Friday sale which is happening all over this weekend. We'll put the codes up on the screen for you to get a massive discount on our products. We do this sale once a year, so check it out there. And if you're not watching this over the Black Friday weekend, feel free to use code YouTube at any time of the year. Thank you so much for your support in helping keeping the channel going and also kitting you guys out in some amazing running gear as well. Right, back to the video. My first like is the stability in this shoe. Now New Balance aren't marketing this as a particular stability shoe. It just does a great job of giving that supportive ride. It's really confidence inspiring as well. Sharp turns, really secure. There's not much of that sort of lateral rolling around. And that stability coupled with a really good lockdown fit as well with a shoe. You just sort of sink into that foam and really feel like you're riding along it. With a lot of these max cushion shoes, you can be sort of feel like you're riding quite high up, but with this, you sink down into it, feel really part of the shoe. And yeah, as I say, stability, one of the best I've ever had in this type of shoe. My second like is the fit of this shoe. Now, as I said in the facts and figures, it is super wide and it's wide through the midfoot as well as the forefoot as well. And so much space to get a really good foot splay for your toes to all move around as well. But with the lacing system, really love New Balance's laces at the moment. Super sort of stretchy, springy, good amount of shoelace as well to get that lockdown fit. The upper, really quite breathable. I did see a few people complaining. It's hard at the UK at the moment. We're testing it in winter conditions. But yeah, if you suffer particularly with overheating, there may be something to avoid, but I haven't personally had any issues. I'm feeling like we're getting a good airflow through that engineered mesh upper there. No hot spots, no blisters, good ankle support at the back. Really liking the flared heel at the back of the shoe there, no Achilles issues. As I say, really good lockdown, coupled with that stability as well. It's just been a joy to run in so far. And my third like is really what this shoe is all about, is that softness, that plush ride, that marshmallow type feel. New Balance have nailed that. If that's the kind of thing you're looking for, now not everybody is obviously, but they have really ticked all those boxes for people looking for that ultra plush ride. With all that softness, it's really comfortable if you're out walking or you're just generally in a type of job where you're on your feet all day. People in retail, people in hospitals and things like that. Just super comfortable for long runs and also long bouts of walking around and standing around. And I've really felt that at the end of the runs, taking out some 30K runs, some 35K runs, my legs just waking up the next day haven't been beaten up at all. It's really helped absorb that impact and that fresh foam. It's really really doing its job. 
Right, let's move on. Right, Kiki's off. <laughs> let's move on to have a chat about some negatives. So the first one is, it just goes with this territory, unfortunately. I don't want to bash it too much, but it is a heavy shoe and it's very bulky. This is not going to be for everyone. But if you're in the market for this type of thing, that max cushion shoe, all of these shoes are big, they're heavy. Not everybody likes running in stuff like that. So it's just something to point out. And also with this shoe, I really have not enjoyed when I've tried to take it up, inject a little pace into my run. It just hasn't been a joy to run in once you've been going up to speed. Something like the Invincible does handle that a bit better. The Zoom X foam, Nike's sort of premier line foam, really does give you a little bit of turn of speed. But as I say, it's a max cushion shoe. It's really designed for those easy and recovery runs, so we can't mark it down too much for that. Today's question of the day is, do you like max cushion shoes? Are you using them for your recovery runs and your easy runs? Or are you much more someone that just likes an all round shoe and a speed shoe? Let us know down in the comments, do you like max cushion shoes? Right, let's have a chat about all three of these shoes. All so, so similar, it's really hard to pick them apart. And as always guys, let us know down in the comments, what is your favorite from these three? Or what would you most like to go out and buy for your next runs? Let us know your thoughts and help out the community. New Balance, best for really nice stable ride. Not too heavy in this sector, but really not much fun if you want to be taking up to some faster paces. The Nike shoe, a lot more expensive. You're going to be spending another sort of 20, 30, 40 pounds on a shoe like this and definitely nowhere near as stable as the New Balance. I really enjoyed the stability there. But with this one, the difference between this and the others is you can take this a little bit more up to speed. You could kind of do a race in it if you had to. You could kind of do some speed sessions as some of you have seen me do for my Valencia training. It's not ideal, but it really gives you a little bit more versatility. And then finally, the Hoka is somewhere between the two. It's a lot stiffer than the others. The only thing to pick apart with this is a little bit for, for people with some narrow feet. But all, all of these shoes, these are not one shoe wonders, a bit like you get with something like the Nova Blast 3 or the Pegasus 39. We'll check out links to some of those shoes down below. If I had to pick one for my run I was going out tomorrow, it's between these two and it really is so hard to tell, but yeah, maybe the more for, I've really been enjoying it more than I thought. So who is this shoe for? Well, I'd say if you're a bit of a heavier runner, this could be something that is really gonna help support you out on your runs. People that are walking, time off feet, retail, as I said before, really good option there. But really where this shoe shines is those easy and recovery runs and your long runs, as long as you're not running really any faster than marathon pace. So there we have it guys, New Balance More version four, very much recommended, gonna definitely keep it in my rotation. Any shoes you want to see reviewed, let us know down in the comments and let us know your thoughts on the New Balance More version four. And that's it guys, we'll see you very soon in the next one.